stay with me in regard to this research, primarily because this is the most profound cancer research I have seen in a long time. What we're looking at really here is looking at two uh, elements of treatment which are already in play, but they're combined. So we're looking at stereotactic body radiotherapy and interleukin-12. And when they combine the two in regard to treatment, at least in pancreatic cancer, it doesn't mean it can be extended out beyond that, but at least in regard to the outcome of this particular study, all right, that's where this chart comes in. You see the dotted line at the very top of this particular one graph? All right, I originally thought that was part of the border. That is actually the survival rate of the groups of animals that were treated with stereotactic body radiotherapy and interleukin-12 combined. A hundred percent survival rate in regard to pancreatic cancer. The other chart that you see there is the tumor burden. With that in mind, let's get right into the excerpt in regard to these two charts. It's a little technical and I'll read kind of fast, but slow down during the important parts. And then we'll get into the, the news release to proceed as follows. In KCKO Luke tumors, treated with either SBRT or interleukin-12, MS alone, we observed moderate reductions in tumor burden. Remarkably, the combination of stereotactic body of radi radiotherapy and interleukin-12 eradicated tumors by day 20 post-implantation. That's the first chart. And lesions remained undetectable by bioluminescent imaging until measurements were terminated at day 60. To proceed, Histological analysis of day 11 tumors corroborated these anti-tumor effects depicting regions of marked cell death and overwhelming immune infiltration in the radiotherapy and interleukin-12 group. Treatment with SBRT alone increased overall survival with 20% demonstrating long-term survival greater than 120 days. However, now comes the combination. A radiotherapy and interleukin-12 treatment resulted in significant benefit with 100% of the mice achieving long-term survival. So with that intro, let's get right into the public release of the research and then we'll go back into the full study because it just gets better from there. To proceed as follows, innovative pancreatic cancer treatment may rev up the immune system. Oh, by the way, before I proceed any further, this, uh, the SBRT therapy I'll have the definition of that from the Mayo Clinic towards the end, as well as interleukin-12, which we'll take from the National Cancer Institute. Uh, we'll have a definition of that as well to give you uh, more enlightenment in regards to what that is. But to proceed as follows. Innovative pancreatic cancer treatment may rev up immune system. A research team reports that combining a type of radiation therapy, that's the SBRT, with immunotherapy, the interleukin-12, not only, this is their words, cure pancreatic cancer in mice but appears to reprogram the immune system to create an immune memory in the same way that a vaccine keeps the flu away. We'll just say inoculation to keep it safe. The result is that the combination treatment also destroyed pancreatic cells that had spread to the liver, a common site for a metastatic disease. Now, what do they mean by reprogram the immune system like a vaccination inoculation? All right, this is where it just gets profound. To proceed, I'm gonna bring up the next chart. Now check this out, all right? Now look at this chart, take a few seconds to basically take it in. What this is, let me just read the excerpt and then we'll look at the, the graph in a second, just to get that idea. All right, I'm gonna read fast. For additional confirmation, long-term anti-tumor immunity, we transfer, so taking cells from the mice which survived the pancreatic cancer and basically transferring it to mice which they're basically gonna implant tumors. Watch what happens. We next transfer CD8 T cells from re-challenged mice and naive mice. Hypothesizing, hypothesizing, the cells from the SBRT, interleukin-12, the radiotherapy and interleukin-12, uh, cure donor mice will protect naive recipients during tumor challenge. Nine months following tumor eradication, CD8 T cells were purified from the remaining spleen and lymph nodes 
of the radiation and delucan 12 treated mice. Donor mice were not primed in any way prior to T cell isolation. Our naive donor controls were age matched. T cells were intravenously injected into recipient mice 16 hours prior to orthotopic uh, tumor implantation. As early as day five, now start paying attention to those, those, those graphs right there. As early as day five, post implantations were observed, reduced tumor seeding in recipient mice infused with CDAT T cells from the radiotherapy and basically the interleukin 12 cured donors. And by day 24, anti-tumor responses were evident in all five mice, as demonstrated by bioluminescent analysis. Subsequent analysis at day 40 revealed no evidence of tumor in tumors in 60% of the mice infused with the CD8 T cells from the radiotherapy into leukin 12 cured group, indicating the transferal of full anti-tumor immunity to the naive recipients. That is just insane. So when you see that part and during the research, when they say it's like a vaccination against pancreatic cancer, or inoculation, to use a less uh, hot topic term. It was basically amazing. Now it begins to make sense. So, it based, so they basically take these CDA T cells from the mice that basically overcame the pancreatic cancer, gave it to mice and had them exposed or implanted tumors after that, and it basically transferred that immune response to them to fight the pancreatic cancer tumors. Now that's just with pancreatic cancer. Now, without adding publisher bias, who knows what this could be expanded to? But these are two methods of cancer treatment which are already in play. So the technology is not that far off. It's just getting the research and the approval to make sure this research correlates and interprets the same way into humans, which humans obviously are a lot more complex because a lot more variables. But outside of that, it's incredible. All right, now let's get to the conclusion. What before I proceed? All right. Basically, I want to give you an example of the definition of stereotactic body radiotherapy. This is the Mayo Clinic. Freeze this if you want to read through it. I'll wait a couple of seconds. All right. Now we're going to go to Interleukin 12, the National Cancer Institute. So you can look at that too. Wait a couple of seconds. Freeze it if you need to. All right, now let us proceed. All right, to conclude, the researchers looked for an innovative treatment combination that could do two things at once activate T cells to attack the cancer and convert the immune suppressing cells into fighters, the study said. The combination they used in laboratory models consisted of a stereotactic body radiotherapy, which discussed earlier, which delivers high doses of radiation over a short period of time and may also prime the immune system to kill cancer cells. And interleukin-12, which is also has well-known anti-cancer activity and also activates the immune system. However, interleukin-12 often comes with harsh side effects. To solve that problem, the researchers are testing a time release technology and specifically designed mouse models for pancreatic cancer, which would slowly deliver the drug over two weeks. So, in short, we're basically looking at literally, uh, amazingly, uh, long term survival in 100%. There's words I want to use, but they don't want to use because it's adding publisher bias. They use the word cure. I don't like using the word cure until I actually see human trials, per se. And not to get anybody's hopes up uh, falsely at the same time. However, though, this is extremely promising. And not only that, think about it. If someone has a history of a certain type of cancer in a family or lineage or generational, whatever it is, and someone from that lineage survives that cancer, per se, using, uh, stereo, uh, using the radiation therapy, the SBRT, and the interleukin-12, then that immune immunity could possibly be transferred on to other individuals to help them, I don't want to say immune, but help them resist the occurrences of those type of cancers that they may be susceptible. Fascinating. However, though, what I want to do is on the DOI citation, obviously is listed in all, in all of our videos, and on the YouTube site, I'll also do the links as well so you can review uh, the full study on your own or bring it to an oncologist or radiologist for further um, analysis. Again, we're off to our channel signing off. Hope you find this information in use. Again, with, without being too hyped about it, this really is, if you look at it from a whole, it's incredible on multiple levels. 
And again, there are two treatments which are already in play, just combined. Let's hope in the future, and hopefully very soon, they start utilizing this in human testing to see if we get the same results here. And if we do, wow, that would be incredible. We're after channel signing up once again. Thank you very much for listening and look forward to seeing you all in seven days. Catch you then. Bye.